AI logo design is only getting better. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create some awesome logo designs using Midjourney version five, and also how to turn them into vectors. So if you're new to Midjourney, it's super simple. All you do is go in Discord and start a chat with the Midjourney bot, type in a prompt, and Midjourney will give you a photo result. So for our first logo design prompt, we used forward slash imagine a logo design for a seafood restaurant along the coast of Florida called Captain Sam's that features a line art style fishing boat. Here was our initial output from Midjourney, four great results that all look pretty good, and then I upscaled my favorite one, which is this one here, which with some little text tweaks, we could have a really nice usable logo design. So far, our results are looking great, so let's dive into another example. For this one, I used forward slash imagine a flat 2D style logo design for a national park featuring mountains and canyons and sunset colors. And you can see here the initial results that Midjourney gave us. These all look really good. And then I upscaled my two favorite, which are this one and this one, and they both look great. And you'll notice that for the prompts for these designs, I used a longer written out sentence. And this is the type of structure that Midjourney version 5 recommends when you're writing prompts. I really like this flat logo design style. So I used once again, forward slash imagine a flat 2D style logo design showing a freight train. This was our initial set of results here. And I really, really liked the first one. So I went ahead and created four more variations based on the first one. And this is what Midjourney gave us for those. I really like these results, so I kept tweaking it a little bit by adding a little bit more detail. And here is the prompt that I used. And this was the results from that prompt. And you'll see I just kind of kept creating some more iterations of this similar design, slightly tweaking the prompt and uh, getting some really cool, slightly different results each time. I really liked a lot of these design concepts, so I upscaled a few of them and you can see that they all turned out really, really nice and they also have a perfect style to use with our vector tool, which I'm going to show you in just a couple minutes. So for our final prompt, I kept it pretty simple and I said forward slash imagine a logo design of a tractor trailer truck driving down a desert highway. And this was our initial set of results that Midjourney gave us. They all look pretty good and so I upscaled my two favorites. And you can see, even with this very simple prompt, we got some really, really nice, very usable results. So now we've got some really cool logo concepts, but it's time to turn them into vectors. And so I found out about a tool called vectorizer.ai from another YouTuber named Wade McMaster. I highly recommend uh, checking out his channel. He has some great mid-journey tutorials. And it's super easy. You just go to vectorizer.ai you upload your image. It works best for kind of flat 2D style images and it's gonna turn it into a vector for you. And it's just as simple as that. You can download it and use it as you would any other vector. And you can see when you zoom in, the detail level in the original versus in the vector version um, really shows that it is truly a vector. And uh, I also wanted to just show you guys quickly going into Canva and turn in just kind of an icon 2D style logo into something a little bit more detailed. So it's just a real simple, quick way to add some text, make it look nice. And uh, I'm not a professional graphic designer by any means, but I think you can get some really nice usable results with some really basic techniques in Canva. So you can see here what I did is just created a blank canvas. I put the original logo design um, from Midjourney on there. I went ahead and added a little bit of text, rearranged things just a little bit, and then all it is from there is pretty much finding the typography and then changing around the colors a little bit. Um, you can see I'm playing with the placement, but it ended up looking really nice and this is something that I think you could very easily print out or uh, put it on a sticker or something like that that would look great. And you can see here, I just tweaked the colors a little bit and there's our final result. So 
So next I want to just show you guys um, if you have experience with Photoshop or Inkscape, Illustrator, any of those programs, you're probably not going to care for this part of the tutorial. But if you don't, I think this is just so simple it's worth mentioning. Um, this is just a real easy way to tweak some of the text that comes with Midjourney. So you've probably noticed that Midjourney logo designs, the text is always a little bit off. And so um, this is just a real simple breakdown of how you can change the text, cover it up in Canva and get a nice looking result that doesn't have the strange nonsense text that Midjourney puts in there by default. So you can see pretty much just selecting uh, the fonts that you want, trying to match the colors using the color picker tool of the new uh, text that we put in there. And then you want to try to match up the size as best you can with the old text. And you can see we're just making some slight adjustments trying to get it as close as possible. And then all you're going to do is just use a box to cover up the old text. And you can play around the letter spacing a little bit. That's a really useful tool. And then once again, putting another box over the other text, matching the letter spacing again. And we've got a pretty solid result there. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate all of your support.